Are you tired of not being funny? I mean, if politicians ever run out of work to do, they can all just become comics. Because, man, do they have some experience in telling jokes. <laughs> Are you tired of people not laughing at your, your jokes? Yeah, but your hairline's gay. Get it? It's not straight. It's like, you know. Damn. Are you ready to leave your old life behind and start a new one as a different person? Hi, I'm Harold Hatterson, and I've helped hundreds of people just like you become funny. Welcome to How to Become Funny 101. One of the most important parts of comedy is known as knowing your audience. Now, knowing your audience is essentially being familiar with the people you're telling your jokes to so that you can cater your jokes to those specific people. Once you start comedy and once you start practicing comedy, it's inevitable that at some points you're going to bomb. Your jokes aren't going to land properly and people might not laugh at them. However, knowing your audience is super helpful in getting you out of these jams and out of these sticky situations. Nothing gets an audience laughing and nothing gets an audience excited quite like fear and threats do. Knowing family member names, knowing house addresses, knowing email for addresses, for God's sake, you can just know just their phone number and that will help you get out of these situations. Here is a clip of me uh, at one of my stand-ups showing how knowing your audience can actually help you get out of sticky situations. You know the orphan I was talking about? It was in the soup. They were eating it the whole time. What the hell, guys? Why aren't you guys laughing at this? You. Yeah, you. It's John, right? Is that your wife next to you? Yeah. Does your wife know about Rachel? No, no. You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about, John. Oh, yeah. No, laugh at my damn joke. The second main pillar of comedy is known as subject matter. And subject matter has two main parts to it. Boundaries and content itself. Now, uh, boundaries are essentially where you as a comic have to evaluate whether a joke you make is simply edgy or whether it is crossing the line, whether it's too much, whether it's too crude, too vulgar, you know, too offensive. Right? And a lot of people think this is actually a super difficult thing to do. However, I would disagree with that. Uh, and I've come up with a pretty simple equation, a pretty simple method you can actually use to evaluate whether you can tell these jokes. So the equation uh, I've developed is called the Garden Avenue Massacre Equation. And the equation is if the number of deaths times the total cost of destruction per million uh, divided by how long ago it, the event was in weeks is greater than the mean age of your audience times the number of people divided by two. If that equation is true, you should be all clear to tell your joke. I would actually recommend that now you start looking at some of humanity's worst acts and some of humanity's greatest crimes as actually opportunities to be funny and opportunities to gain clout. Now, the second part of subject matter is known as content. Content is the crux of comedy. It's what your jokes are going to be about. It's what your sets are going to be about. Having comedy without content is like having a cheese wheel without the wheel. Start recognizing where in your life can you make jokes and where can you tell jokes about your life uh, and recognize funny parts of your life. And, you know, I've heard before that sadness is the same as comedy in many ways. And if that's true, then my life is like a 23-year comedy special. Now this is something you truly will have to practice and it's the hardest part of comedy undoubtedly. However, I do have one tip for you and just one uh, one ace up your sleeve, shall we say. And that is if you ever do run out of content, you shouldn't actually be afraid of just being a little bit racist. If you really need to, you can always make broad generalizing statements about a certain creed or culture to get you out of a jam. Now we arrive at the last major pillar of comedy, the performance itself. Similar to other performance arts such as theater, comedy often has quite a physical aspect to it as well as the verbal aspect. 
I recommend you embrace this and use the physical space around you to not only show your, uh, yourself verbally through your performance, but also physically through your performance. Here are two clips from some of my shows and sets that exemplify how to do this and how it can improve your comedy. Good artists copy, great artists steal. Yes. You can write it down, it's a pretty good quote, right? Thought about myself. What I to say is that with the war crimes, right, the ones he did in the 30s, no one has fully yet, no one has fully yet exonerated Bill Clinton. Now, comedy is an art form that is often fueled by failure, pa by passion, and by heartache. So, through your performances, it's quite natural that you might get quite emotional and sad. However, you need to fight these feelings and bottle up your sadness and emotion. Because as my foster father once told me, being sad is like being happy. It's something you're never going to do, you worthless little shit. I would recommend be flamboyant, be flashy, and don't be vulnerable during your shows. Act as though you can't even feel that buckle against your back, and it will greatly improve the quality of your set. So those three pillars of comedy are pretty essential to understand and know if you do want to pursue a career in comedy. Now, of course, there are other tips uh, in, that are important to comedy, such as always carry a pair of sharp scissors on you to be sure you don't get uh, Richard Crowell, you know, that. that. But those would be for another time. I have been Harold Hatterson, and I hope you have enjoyed these tips to help you improve at comedy. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but I'll hopefully be getting back onto schedule. So also please comment any suggestions you have for future videos. That's it for me. Stay safe and peace.